Yeah, this one made me feel like Daddy's little princess when she goes off to college and the amount of dick I was receiving here. This one was ugh, not, not fun. Put it that way. Can I go from power 1 to 20 without ever actually leaving Etrus? It's possible, it's doable, not funnily. Uh, yeah, you'll, you'll see why, put it that way. There's not much strategy here, you literally just brutally slaughter a uh, helpless passive tribe of nomads over and over again for XP. And once you've finished doing that, and you uh, want to rebel, you can attack the fucking townspeople and the guards and Lord Regent. So uh, I, mean, I lead a revolution. Because guild's name's Lord Regent. It's a shit joke, bro. But this, this fucking, this killed my sense of humour. Basically, my idea for this is just to get a big bunch of guards when I'm like high enough level and got and can do enough posture damage or got good enough uh, mantras, and just kill them and get levels that way because that's pretty the quickest way to farm. I never got to that stage, or did I? Got to keep watching or just skip to the end like a normal fucking sane person to see the results. I would do the same thing. Since you guys uh, love watching my masochism so much and me damage my, my mentals, you're going to have to listen to me rant and ramble about some stuff that I like now to get over this shit. So, have fun, fuckers. You guys should check out a great game in Roblox called Eclipsis. If you like RTS's real-time strategy games, you, you'll like that. You're like a violent plumber. You plumb laser beams and artillery to attack people. If I can, like, if, if this channel can get even just two people to play that game, then this channel has is, is done something good and right in the world. That, that, I, this channel will be a success if I can bring that game back from the brink of death. Even two people when you're like, fucking, I think, 1% of the player base? No, you'd be like 0.5% of the player base, which is ridiculous. So what do you guys like watch? Because ever since I've, I've been a kid, my parents have set me up to be an absolute nerd. Like, I, they got me the series of 1 to 4 of Doctor Who, uh, and ever since then I've loved Doctor Who. And uh, my, I had cable TV, well, yeah, I had cable TV and a DVD player. Fucking, this is old, old man shit, even though I'm 16 years old. And, oh, it's not cable in, in England, I don't know what we call it, to be fair. It's just channels, and it, um, I didn't have Netflix, but my aunt, and her brother, my uncle. If I say aunt and uncle, people would assume it's married. Don't worry about it. So my aunt and uncle, they had Netflix. But my uncle had a child who was around my age, like a few years older. So I heard them talking about some anime. Well, I didn't know it was anime at the time. They were talking about like Blue Exorcist and SAO. And that was my first ever uh, exposure to anime. Excluding Pokemon, because that shit was on cartoons. And I think my first ever proper anime was Fairy Tale. Uh, well, I say proper anime, non-Pokemon uh, anime, was Fairy Tale. I watched that shit. So there's only 52 episodes on Netflix. I watched the shit out of that. Sao, um, what was Sao Blue Exorcist? Stuff that used to be on there fucking eight ages ago, and that was my first exposure. And ever since then, I've loved the fucking shit out of it. And now I've just I watch it a ridiculous amount. Speaking of which, I fell in love with ReZero. Never thought I would. I fucking love the show. If uh, if you guys like Groundhog Day, I love Groundhog Day by the way. Or Happy Death Day to you. Or any time loop type shit with a uh, erased or summertime rendering. Summertime rendering is a base show. You should watch that. No one watches that. Uh, this is this takes the time loop shit and it makes it even more isolating than you could imagine it would be. And I I watch four episodes like last year and I was like ah this show is just not for me I don't like the main character little did I know the whole point was this, the main character's arc from going from like a a typical isekai protagonist into a fucking I don't want to spoil anything but I, I like it I love it a lot it's up there with like One Piece for me and uh, and Attack on Titan Attack on Titan is so good when I very first found out about Seven Daily Sins, it was actually from my uncle, the same uncle. He said, "He said, uh, if I think, if I remember right, this fucking years ago, he said, uh, watch a, if you like anime, watch a show called um, Seven Daily Sins on Netflix. Don't worry about the pervert scenes; it's really good." And I was like, "Pervert scenes?" And it, it Meliodas this first episode. I was like, "Ah, this show is just Chef's Kiss." Although I do, I rarely do watch actual shows but you on netflix is quite good like that is fucking uh, great amazing it is called you it's quite clever because it's about a stalker so when someone asks you what are you watching you say i'm watching you i, I think it's fucking hilarious but i got a shit sense of humor so 
recommend me some runs, some uh, some shows, something to watch, something to do. Oh, hello, Yuki. Hey, your baby. Yeah, I've got a black dog, Cocker Spaniel. I've called him Yuki because someone sent me a list of like names and their meanings. Yuki was a good fortune, and then I remembered that Yuki couldn't also mean snow in Japanese. And when I realised that it was a black dog, and his name was. Uh, Yuki, which means snow. I thought it was so funny. Well, hold on, I'm, I'm gonna see if I can get him the how. If, if I can get him the how, you'll be hearing it. Yo, Yuki, let's harmonize. <laughs> Just a question for my British and American audience, if I've even got an American audience, is, you know the Zaza? How bad of an epidemic is it in your area? Because it's honestly more infectious than fucking COVID where I live. Like, I, uh, everyone I went to school with, I, I can't list off 10 names without one of them having the Zaza or the, um, or a vape. And I, whoever invented vapes probably had the best of ideas with the greatest of intentions, but it's a, it turned out to be an art, a fucking toss pot. You know what? Because I realised that Moonlight Sonata is public domain, if I can be bothered to get Moonlight Sonata, you should be listening to the Moonlight Sonata right now. What's some cringy shit you've done? Because I think the cringy shit I've done is watched Eminence in Shadow and then liked the Moonlight Sonata and like gone to listen to it. And once I listen to it, I generally enjoy it. I I didn't realise how good classical music can be. I've realised that I've I've not done an actual deep woken run in such a long time, like two, three weeks. I've just done these challenge runs, and that's starting to grate on me mentally and emotionally. But I've I've got people to play Apex and that with. I've just got no one to play deep woken with. No one's no one would do layer two and stuff with me. Cause someone got me into deep woken, and then got out of it just as quick as they got me in, into it. I play Smite as well. If you guys play that game, it's a fucking old ass game. I love it so much. Oh, you don't know about the twenty? I don't think I've ever mentioned the twenty twenty three deep woken incident. Basically. I, I played old Deep Woken when it very first came out, best part, like peak Deep Woken, and then, well, it wasn't that good, but it, it was good to explore stuff, because no one knew anything about the game. So they revamped the game, and I came back about one to two years later when they added Layer 2 and all this stuff, and I was loving it, like it was so good. And I, I finally got to the point where I could do Chaser with like three, four people, my friends. And I, I haven't, at this time, I didn't sleep. Like last week, like that, that week before, I didn't sleep for, I think, a day, two days. So this week, I'm running on, I think, eight hours sleep out of like two days. I'm, I'm up for about 40 hours. And I asked my mum to make me a cup of coffee because she's a night owl, much like me. And basically, she roofied me. I was mid-chaser mid, cha mid -chaser fight. I was, I was, I was tweaking. I was literally falling asleep. You know how like tired and how much shit's going through your system when you're fucking mid mid chaser fight. The height of adrenaline for someone that can't play deep woken for shit and you're falling asleep. I thought the fuckers that I was speaking with on Discord were in my room. I was Moral of the story here is always check your drinks because you don't know. You can't even trust your own family, all right? When your family hands you a drink, it could have been tampered with. Don't get roofied. Getting roofied is bad. Trust me. Stops you from playing Deep Woken, and that is definitely the worst thing that could ever happen to you when you get roofied. Never, definitely never take a drink off someone that calls themselves nice. If someone says I'm a nice guy, don't fucking trust the guy. If she says I'm a nice guy, now maybe she's just narcissistic though. Maybe he's narcissistic, right? Always drink out of bottles. That's it. Drink out of bottles that you've opened yourself and you've put the lid back on and you've put the lid on a certain way so you know how that lid's gone. And make your own coffee as well. Especially if you're pulling all nighters and your family cares about you. Fuck family caring about you. I'm trying to kill Chaser, motherfucker. If you guys have actually got this far without skipping your fucking real ones, considering the amount of absolute rambling I've done, you guys are therapeutic now. This is this is the consequences of your actions. You recommend runs like this, you're gonna have to deal with a man on the fucking point of having a, a mental breakdown. Like, I'll keep you speaking to a tree and getting into catharsis right now. Instead, I'm speaking to myself and hoping that people are listening. Shit, I think I might be insane. No, thank you guys for watching. If you have actually watched this far and listened to me ramble, I, I would even blame you if you skipped ahead. So, uh, I, I do sincerely apologise for how pathetic of a run this was and how shit I am at killing player-based stuff. I ain't proud about how this one turned out, I ain't gonna lie. I, I could do better, but 
I'm not even going to mince words and beat around the bush. I can't be fucking bothered. Maybe if this gets, like, some engagement. I don't, I don't even think then. I don't think no amount of dopamine is going to bring me back to this shitty run. It wasn't as bad as my others. It was just not enjoyable.